Question, how is a paired t-test different from an unpaired t-test? Well, a paired t-test is a repeated measures design which compares two groups while controlling for subject-to-subject -subject variation. So you're looking at data collected from subjects measured at two different time points. For example, before and after an event. On the other hand, an unpaired t-test simply compares two groups. So you're looking at the difference between two groups with independent subjects that do not have a natural pairing. Now let's take a look at some examples and determine if it should be analyzed as a paired or unpaired t-test. Let's look at a weight loss study where each subject is weighed before and after treatment. This is a paired t-test since there are repeated measures and the rows have meaning. Each row is a subject who is acting as their own control in the study. The analysis of paired data like this is based on the difference between two columns. In fact, the paired t-test p-value shown here is equivalent to the p-value of the one sample t-test on the differences shown here. With a paired t-test, there is an assumption of normality, but it applies to the difference column, not the individual data columns. Now let's take a look at a clinical trial comparing post-anesthetic recovery time for two forms of sedation, midazolam and fentanyl. Paired data is not possible here since each patient has only one operation. So instead, each patient is randomly assigned to either the midazolam group or the fentanyl group, and we have unpaired data. The rows here have no meaning, and each column has an independent set of patients. The sample sizes don't even have to be equal. There is an assumption of normality here too, but it applies to each individual column. Paired t-tests are generally preferred over unpaired because they account for and remove subject-to-subject -subject variation. However, as in the sedation case, they are sometimes quite difficult, if not impossible, to run. Music